course, I love running hills, and the steeper the better, because when it's real steep, and when you run them hard, you don't have to go very far before you're just totally gassed and out of breath. Hey guys, Mark McKill with Live Anabok. Today, I want to give you five completely different ideas on how to get outside of your house and get in some really good workouts. So, if you're bored with working out at your house or your garage or your basement, or maybe you go to the gym and you just want to change your pace, all right, today's video is for you guys. So, I live in Texas. And let me tell you, it's been over 100 degrees almost every day, which for you guys that or dealing in Celsius, that's over 37 for months and months and months at a time. It's just now starting to get a little nicer and makes it kind of fun to get outside and work out. So a lot of you guys live in beautiful weather locations all the time. So there's no need for you to work out inside your house all the time. So five really good ideas I'm gonna talk about today. But before I get there, I just wanna remind you all of a free resource we have. We have a fantastic Facebook group, okay? It's free, even if you don't like Facebook, you just need to join. Use a fake name, you don't have to put any pictures of yourself, you can be totally anonymous. Our group has got over 13,000 men around the world, my age, your age, okay? And they're just wonderful people. I'm the moderator, so I get on there every day, and I do my best to answer everybody's questions, and of course, everybody else in the group is answering each other's questions, which is really cool. And then it's not just Q&A type stuff, it's motivation. So a lot of guys have seen phenomenal success using some of our workout programs that Gary and I have put together, okay, over the last few years. And it's fun to see that, all right? And it, it's motivational for you guys. So without a doubt, the best fitness group in all of Facebook. Click the link below and check it out. All right, so today's video is not a workout per se. These are just generic ideas I just kind of want to float for you guys because a lot of times you you know we, we tend to get really kind of um, tunnel vision doing the same thing over and over I mean you're following my workout or Gary's workout and so you never really think to kind of you know step outside <laughs> of that of that comfort window that you've been in for so long so come on outside dumbbells are a great thing that you can do outside so boom here they are now I have adjustable dumbbells and I just brought out the 20 pounders here, but I could have brought out the whole set just with a single pair here, guys. And like I said, this is not a workout per se, but use this YouTube channel's features, all right? Most of you guys probably don't realize this, but in the top right-hand corner of the screen, there's a little magnifying glass. I want you to click on it and then you can enter things that you wanna search for in our YouTube channel because this channel has got, I don't know, over 600 videos in it? How do you find anything? Well, that is the feature. That's the way you find stuff, all right? So search for dumbbell workout, okay? <laughs> and then I guarantee you, probably two, three dozen different videos are gonna pop up between Gary and myself. Skim through those, find a workout that just uses dumbbells, no bands, whatever, okay? Then you can have that as your guide for doing an outdoor workout with dumbbells, man, this is kind of fun. I mean, I got my dog over here running around. I got a few squirrels every once in a while. It's fun. Plus, it is still warmer than the air conditioning in my house. I'm gonna get a nice little sweat going at the same time. I can take my shirt off. Don't have to worry about anybody else. So dumbbells outside are a great option. Okay, idea number two is just a gratuitous plug of my own workout program that a lot of you guys probably don't even know about it. It's called Warrior Strong. So check the link below this video. It's a workout program I did with a Marine buddy of mine a couple years ago. We filmed it all at an Army base, okay? And it's really two workouts in one. So the primary workout is all done outside. And let me show you some of the equipment. So you're gonna need battle ropes if you wanna do you know, the outside portion. We do a lot of really cool, creative exercises with battle ropes that you've never done before. This is a pipe, a metal pipe. I bought at Home Depot. It's 36 inches long. It weighs seven and a half pounds. And that is the exact same length and weight as an M16 rifle that you would use in the military. So we do lots of cool workouts with this, with this pipe, lots of different exercises that mimic what a lot of the Marines and Army 
military personnel have to do with their rifles, okay? So I don't expect you to go out and buy an M16. This is basically identical. And, and my workout program, my Warrior Strong workout program has come up with some really clever ways to kick your ass with just a little old piece of pipe. And then another piece of equipment we use is a sandbag, all right? So this thing, it's got 60 pounds of sand in here, all right? So it, it zips open and it's got six individual 10 pound sacks of sand. So you can, you can change the amount of weight that's in the bag, okay? And so we use this, oh, lots of really tough exercises that Austin and I put together with the 60 pound sandbag. And I'm, you know, like I said, today's video isn't really to show you individual exercises is to give you just generic ideas on how to get outside and work out. So check it out. Um, there's, like I said, there's a link below this video that will take you to our Warrior Strong program. And I want you guys to realize that it really is two completely separate workout programs in one. So there's the outdoor version, and I'm showing you the equipment needed for that. But I also created the exact identical indoor version with nothing but dumbbells. So I recreate in my own den, just like I normally do, every single exercise that Austin and I did outside, I recreated it in my den with nothing more than dumbbells. So it's a really cool workout program. And for you guys that wanna get out of your house, man, it is really fun and it is tough. All right, idea number three is not gonna be for everybody because a lot of you won't have access, but, but, but some of y'all have outdoor parks that have lots of equipment, okay? And so I'm talking about some really cool things that I've seen, all right, where they have a lot of basically workout equipment built into the park, all right? You know, it's not stuff you can carry around, it's stationary, but there's all kinds of exercises you can do on those jungle gyms and those parallel bars and chin-up bars and push-up stations. I mean, there's just tons of really cool things you can do at one of these parks. Now, some of you guys don't have anything like that nearby, all right? But for those of you who've driven by one over and over and over, and never stop, screw it. Get on YouTube, search for park workouts, all right? Find a bunch of exercises that you can do at your particular park that's close to you. Just print it out take it to the park and just try it. Just do it. Step out of your comfort zone. All right, so number four is much easier to do than the park one, okay? And that is get on this YouTube channel, use that search feature that I was just telling you about, and search for cardio workout or HIIT workout, H-I-I-T. Stands for high intensity interval training. It will bring up a list of tons of different workouts that Gary and I have put together, all right? All those can be done outside, right? So search through that list, find one or two that you think are really kind of interesting and fun, something you might want to try, print it out on a little piece of paper, or, all right, bring it out here and just get out in the yard and do it. I promise it's going to feel different outside in the grass or even at a park if you need to go away from your house than it is doing it in the air-conditioned confines of your own house. It's a lot more fun when you get outside. All right, idea number five, the last one for today is just get outside. Take your dog on a walk. Go for a jog. Go run some hills. I love doing sprints up hills. Um, mow the lawn. I mean, I have a huge yard, and let me tell you, mowing the lawn is a real workout, all right? Especially when you have a big yard. Uh, get on your bike. Go for a bike ride. There are tons of things you can do outside. The key is just move, all right? It doesn't have to be radical, but as long as you're moving, and doing it consistently, eventually you're gonna get your heart rate up, okay? And so if you go on a walk, do more than just a casual slow walk. Push yourself a little bit. Make sure it's just kind of a, a, a fast paced walk, whether you're with your dog or just by yourself, I don't care. Um, walking up hills quickly will really get your heart up. And then of course, I love running hills and the steeper, the better, because when it's real steep and when you run them hard, you don't have to go very far before you're just totally gassed and out of breath. Then I slowly walk back down the hill and catch my breath before I pff, turn around and do it all over again. So lots of ways to get in really good workouts outside the confines of your house or your gym or your basement. That gets kind of old, guys. 
And remember, I promise if you just stick with it and never give up on yourself, you're gonna be successful.